Well, this is the season of love, generosity, and selflessness. And it also describes all of our teachers out there, and we love them all. We need to do what we can to help keep them healthy and safe as well. So I'm joined by mental health expert and Michigan Connection Academy Executive Director, Teresa Woods. Teresa, thank you so much for joining us. How are you? I'm great. Thank you so much for having me today. You are so welcome. Thank you. Teresa, I am alarmed to really find out that teachers are at 40% more risk of anxiety than health workers following the pandemic. That's so hard to hear. Tell us what's going on there, Teresa. Well, I think teachers have always had a heavy lift when yeah. it comes to dealing with all of the issues that our little ones bring into the classroom with us each day. They're coming in with the baggage that they have from home right. and things that are going on with their families and then also trying to really hold up all of our students. So I think that it was always a difficult task. And then to compound that with the pandemic, to compound that with the learning losses and things that we're trying to um, help our kids accomplish and get back on steady footing academically, it's really been very difficult. And, and one can really see how that can weigh heavily on the hearts and the minds of our teachers. Yes, that is very challenging. Now, Teresa, how has the pandemic really changed the way that teachers need to provide or even adapt for their classrooms and their students? I think the pandemic has in a way been a gift. Um, it has allowed us to have open, honest conversations yeah. about mental health and the struggles that our students and our families are. It helps us to have an opportunity to kind of take a step back and, it, and be okay when things aren't okay. So I think those are things that really um, teachers have had to deal with and also has helped us as educators and the community at large really take a, a, a stop and take a really good hard look at what the mental health situations are of our families. Yeah, I know teachers are so flexible and during the virtual learning so many teachers had to be flexible and the students as well and I think that's really carried in now that they're back to in-person learning. I know with my kids it's been uh, just a godsend to have that relationship that they keep on building with their teachers and teachers are so adaptable. So Teresa, why is it so important to support teacher mental health? That is key. Well, if you think about it, our little ones spend the vast majority of their day yes. with teachers. Mm -hmm. And so we need our teachers firing out on all cylinders. So that means we need them well and happy and healthy before they even step foot in the classroom. One can give what one doesn't have, right? So we really need to make sure that we're pouring into them. We're, we're making sure that they're taking time for themselves and really me meeting their needs yes. for mental health um, support and challenges that they're having so they're they're whole and healthy when they come into the classroom that allows them the space to be there for our students that is for sure now what resources are available to help teachers as well as students well, there's uh, a plethora of resources with local community mental health. Um, you can start right in the schools with our social workers and our psychologists that are there to help. Um, and then sometimes it doesn't have to be a professional. It right. can be someone that you just trust yeah. that can be there as a listening ear, someone that's a shoulder to cry on. So it could be a colleague. It could be a friend. It could be a neighbor as well. So we want to look for those professional um, resources as well as those non-traditional resources as well to lean into. I love that. And always be an open listening ear when someone does come to you and they say, hey, I need help. Try to help them Absolutely. out. Absolutely. definitely important. Teresa, I really think it's important that students, teachers, and parents, it takes us all to create a possess a, a very positive, that is, and successful learning environment. Would you say it, it takes, you know, they say it takes a village to raise a child. Well, it also takes a village to make sure that our teachers are supported and loved and they know that in the classroom. Absolutely. Thank you, Teresa. We appreciate you so much. Thank you so much. Have a great day. You as well. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And if you have any ideas on what you would like to see on our show, you can send them to us at WNEM-4PMNews at WNEM.com. Just use the subject 4PM News Spotlight.